Unemployment rates have skyrocketed over the past few months, but photographers from around the country are banding together to do something about it. Gary Berrigan is with us today, and he's part of an effort to help get America back to work one picture at a time. Gary, you are helping people by providing a service for free. Explain what that is and who's going to benefit from this. Okay, so what we're doing is a nationwide initiative. Um, there's a group of like over 200 photographers now, and we're providing uh, complimentary headshots for folks that have been affected by COVID-19 in the sense of becoming unemployed, lost their jobs, furloughed, laid off. Um, and that that group of people, it's, it's, it's large in numbers across the country. I mean, COVID-19 like wreaked havoc on people's lives, you know, financially, mentally, um, physically. And what we're doing is we're joining our talent and our networking capabilities to try to get America's workforce back in the job market and employed um, so they can find that sense of hope um, that things can be better and things will get better through time. But getting them back into the job market and getting uh, a consistent and um, dependable uh, income going is the key tool to what we're doing. And part of that in today's uh, time is providing a good headshot. It's almost like the business card. Um, it's a digital it's a digital business card is what we kind of consider it uh, these days. It's really funny because things have changed. I mean, I don't want to date myself, but I can go ahead and date myself because if you remember that there was a time when, you know, it was all the same font and it was just a very, I mean, literal black and white tangible piece of paper that was your resume and things have completely yep. changed. You need to set yourself apart and also make that connection. And so a very I mean, professional headshot can make all the difference. Yep, it can make or break a difference. I mean, with everybody from from business professionals on LinkedIn to actors to models to um, uh, on-demand services like Uber or uh, Grubhub that delivery, you know, a lot of them have like for safety, you know, they they want a, they want you to provide a, a picture, you know, for safety. So the person that you're delivering to or providing the service to can identify you. And, you know, even a good headshot there can make you seem more approachable and build that first moment of uh, trust between both people. Now, Gary, 10,000 complimentary professional headshots are going to be shot nationwide. It's really simple. People go to headshotbooker.com. The wonderful yes. part is that photographers like you, and you're local here to the Louisville, Southern Indiana community, but photographers like you are giving of your time. That's then signing up. That's the easy part. But you, I mean, you've taken thousands, if not, I mean, upwards of that photos over your career. So the hard part about that, though, is how do we take a good headshot? It's one thing to have masterful skills like yours, but what about for someone who would want the headshot, someone who wants to get back to work? What are some tips you can offer? Uh, well, one is don't be scared. Um, headshots kind of have like a negative connotation. I feel like they're like, oh, we got to get our headshots. But um, what we've done, we've we've come up, we, we, we've created a session that's um, it's creative, it's fun, it's interactive, it's collaborative. Um, we get you to relax, we mess with you, um, we get you feeling comfortable in front of the camera. So it's not like, hey, step here, smile, like, like you would do at like the driver's license office. So just the interaction there is, you know, something just totally different than what people would expect. And then we also like prepare you as far as like what to wear, um, if you wear makeup, what products uh, we recommend you staying away from. And then just like uh, we've got lists of like what to wear as far as, you know, solid colors, earth tones, um, jewel tones, tones that could complement your eyes, outfits that make you feel good. Like if there's a favorite jacket or a shirt that just kind of makes you feel like you're on top of the world. But tell me about this, Gary, when it comes yep. to photos because people will even ask me this i'm in a full dress i mean i'm i'm dressed head to toe except that i am not wearing um high heels which i would wear normally if i were in the studio and you can see but i just do not feel the same if i'm only dressing from here up i i need i, I kind of get my thing going on you know when i'm dressing the whole way even like you said yep. your a headshot is from here to here but do you as a photographer feel, I mean, you want you want that whole body feeling good because that'll come out yep. in, in your face. Yep. Yeah, it really depends on um, 
on the person and like how comfortable they are. Like I've had plenty of people, you know, they'll ask me like, do I need to change into my pants or my skirt? And I'm like, it's totally up to you. You know, if it'll make you feel better, go for it. If not, you know, you can just worry about changing your tops. And some people, you know, they just switch out their tops or their shirts or their jackets and other people, you know, they'll do a whole outfit change because, you know, they're, they're getting dressed up. They're jazzed, you know, they're jazzing themselves up and which is in return boosting their confidence, which will in terms translate through the camera. Absolutely. I mean, that's the biggest thing you said is you want to feel comfortable in whatever your preference is. Although I have to be honest, at some point, I wish I could convince myself, okay, pajama bottoms on the bottom, I'm feeling all right. I'd save a little time. Well, not only are you, again, donating your time to do this, I know it's a cause that you believe in, you support a lot of causes in the community. But Gary, can we talk for a second about what you're really known for? I mean, your headshots are utilized by people throughout the community and have been. But you are, I mean, an incredibly talented photographer whose work has also been Thank published you. in in magazines and I mean for the artistic and creative nature. Yeah, um, well initially I started out um well, I was mentored. I was kind of like mentored. I kind of cut my teeth in like the beauty and fashion industry. So a lot of uh, a lot of the photographers that you know we're all friends with Antonio, Clay, Steve, um, Josh Eskridge. I kind of came in like mentoring under them. So that's where I kind of got that knack from. That's where I learned like my composition, my lighting, um, uh, Photoshop. You know, good retouching habits. Uh, so I really like once I kind of like wrapped my my brain around that and what I want to do, I, I really dove in on the deep end of that. And then as I grew, um, I just kind of took some key elements and implemented it into my own style to where, you know, eventually I kind of geared towards um, portraiture. And then I try to throw like little elements into my headshot. So trying to, you know, take my brand and my style and set it apart. You can keep up with Gary by visiting his website, GaryBerrigan.com. And complimentary headshots are open to anyone currently unemployed. Just visit HeadshotBooker.com.